In Creo Parametric 10.0, the stretch tool in Warp has been enhanced, allowing you to stretch your model to a defined reference, such as a datum plane or surface. In previous releases, the stretch tool allowed you to stretch your model by a defined scaled value. You can either use the drag handle in the graphics window, enter the scale on screen, or through the scale field in the dashboard. While this can easily stretch your model, you'll need to expose the scale value as a parameter to be able to use it in a relation. This will allow you to update the warp feature dynamically based on your design intent. With this new enhancement, you can easily modify the model by selecting a target reference, such as a surface, point, or datum plane. To select a reference, choose the scale pull-down menu and choose by reference. Now you can select a reference in this example, I'll select a datum plane. Alternatively, you can drag the handle to snap it to a desired reference using one of the two types of snap to reference commands. Pressing the shift button on your keyboard and dragging the drag handle to a valid reference will stretch the model and make the reference persistent. Pressing the alt button on your keyboard and dragging the drag handle to a valid reference will stretch the model but will not make the reference persistent. Depending on the snap command you use, the drag handle icon would display if it's persistent or not. In this example, I have locked the stretch feature to the datum plane. Completing the warp feature, you can now edit the position of the datum plane and see the warp feature update. Depending on the reference you selected, as your model is modified, the warp feature will dynamically update. This enhancement will drastically improve your productivity and user experience. Enabling the ability to stretch your model to a defined reference will allow you to capture your design intent.